Hi, this is a continuation for Power Electronic Sessions, and this video is about task two in lab one. So the first task was introduction to AltiSpice and how we start uh, recognizing all the tools to build circuit like this. And by the end of task one, you should have sample result or sample circuit like this one. In this task, I'm going to show you two types of simulation and how we conduct sweep just to get the IV care for resistor and for diode. And before going to the sweep property, I want just to uh, make a, a note about transient uh, simulation. I want just to change this resistor here by capacitor. So I have to delete this one just to show you something and replace it by a capacitor like this. And you get a wire and wire it. Now let's give a value for this one, which is, for example, one microfarad. And this one, I want to give it like 100 ohm. Okay, I don't want it to be parameter. Now let's see the transient response for this one. As, as we here have a, a command for the transient, which is 10 millisecond. I'm not sure if it's um, uh, enough or no, but let's check that. And yeah, after running the simulation, we see that the voltage output here, okay, so let's just delete this one. The voltage output is 10 volt, okay? Okay, happy with that, no problem, because yeah, it will be 10 volt as a steady state. But what about the transient response, which is uh, showing how, how how long the, uh, the, the capacitor will take to charge and the time constant? So to do that, we have to consider or to assume that the charge or the initial charge or the initial condition of the capacitor. The AltiSpice assumes that the initial condition is the final condition, which is 10 volts. So we will not see transition between 0 volt to 10 volt. To tell AltiSpice that we want the capacitor to start from a charge of 0 volt, we have to make it manually. And to do that, we have two methods. The first method is to go to simulation and go to edit command, a simulation command. And in the simulation command, we have to tell that start external DC supply voltage from zero, okay? This is one way. And once I just make it and run this, the simulation again, I will see now a transient response now from zero to 10, okay? And this is one way, but this way I think it considers the DC supply to start from zero. The other way is to make an initial condition for the capacitor voltage. So the first thing I have to uh, uncheck this one, okay? And we add a new opt command here regarding the voltage of the capacitor. So we write IC, IC means initial condition of the voltage of the V out okay, which is the voltage across the capacitor, to be zero, okay? And in that case, we run it, okay? And we got the same results now, which is starting the voltage of the capacitor from zero, okay? So I prefer to use this one because you specify which parameter you want it to be zero. But by considering this as zero, it's sometimes uh, tricky for some circuits. So this one is more popular. So this is how we set initial conditions for any state for maybe uh, capacitors and inductors, just to make the transient appear like this. And now we are going to replace this capacitor by a resistor and by a diode to see how we do the sweep and to get the IV curve. So what I'm going to do, I want just to remove any other things that I don't want, okay? And replace this by a resistor like that, okay? Is there anything extra? You can just remove it and give it a value, but any value, for example, one kilo ohm, okay? And that value to another one kilo ohm, okay? So what's the point again? The task is to get the IV curve for a resistor. The IV curve, that means the X axis is voltage and the Y axis is current, okay? So I have to tell the uh, AltiSpice how to do this. And to do that, we have to sweep the voltage, okay, to get it versus the current, okay? So how we do sweep the voltage, 
by sweeping the value of the voltage source. To ask LT Spice to do this sweep, we have different ways for that. So the first way is to go to simulate and edit command. And we have to go to DC sweep here. Okay, so it says here, what is the name of the source to sweep? I have this source is the source of sweeping. Okay, so it's called V1. And how we sweep it? Is it a linear way or a logarithmic way or decayed way? So the linear way is, is one of the uh, simplest one. So what is the start value? Zero. The stop value, 10. And what's the increment? I want to increment by one. Okay, just to make it just 10 points. And that's it. It generates for me here a command. That command representing the sweep command. So I make OK and I get it here. Once I have this simulation command, the, the previous one is already commented or cancelled. Okay, so I can really remove it. Okay, so this is now the new circuit with a new command. Okay, now let's simulate it and see how it goes. Yeah, there is no error. So that means OK. And how we represent the data, I said the x-axis is the voltage, and now it's done for, uh, for you. See, the sweeping from 0 volt to 10 volt, it's done by DC sweep function, okay? It replaces the time uh, axis by the sweep variant or sweeping the param parameter, maybe voltage, maybe current, maybe other things, okay? So we have here the voltage, and I want to draw the current. Which current? I want to draw the current of the resistor. So I just press on the resistor. And yes, I got now the IV curve. This is voltage versus current. Okay. And this is how it look. It's the uh, Ohm's law and the slope of this curve now or this line is the resistance value or the reciprocal of the resistance value according to how you calculate the slope, okay? So what is the second way to do the sweeping is by uh, another command, it's called step, okay? So I have to tell, I want to step a variable, so I have to say parameter, that's called Vs, okay? From zero to 10 and the increment is one. So by this way, I'm sweeping parameter, not sweeping a special source, okay? So now I will add this one. And because this is command, uh, not simulation command, so it doesn't actually uh, uh, disable this one. So I have to, to disable it by, by just uh, adding semicolon here, okay? Okay, so this is my command, but I have to define the VS. The Vs is the value of the source, so I have to change the value of the source, not the name. The value of the source is Vs now. So what I'm telling, but you have to make it between these brackets. So now we have Vs as a variable, which is the value of the source, and I'm telling Altispice to step it from 0 to 10, and every step is 1, okay? So I want just to delete this graph, just to make sure that we got a new results, okay? And we can run and see how it goes. And in the simulation command, we choose DC operating point because I want my result to be the steady state result, the final result, but after sweeping. So it will sweep and find the final result, steady state result. Sweep and find the steady state result. So I don't need all these. I just want the world.op. Okay. So now it's, it will find the operating point after I sweep and generate it. Now I can just run it like that and look at this, 0 to 10, okay? So we have here the x-axis as 0 to 10, okay, again. And now I can write, I can just click on the current and I got the same result exactly, okay? So we have now two ways. You can use the sweep simulation command or you can use the operating point simulation command, but uh, with the dot step command to step any value. Dot step command is more generic because you can sweep any value, not just sources. You can sweep the resistance value or maybe the, the voltage across any, any other uh, parameter or component and the current and other things. You don't need actually to be attached to just uh, uh, sources. But there is a very important note here. 
I was mistaken when I told you this is the slope of the resistor here. No, it will be the slope for both of them. Why? Because the x-axis, if you right-click on it, it's the Vs. Okay, so the voltage across both of them. Okay, and that current uh, uh, that's flowing through uh, uh, both of them. So we have the voltage across two resistors and not just one resistor. To make x-axis as just the V out, which is the uh, voltage across the resistor number two, we have to right click on it and be careful. You have to write it like this, the voltage of the node called V out, okay? Not just V out. And we write okay, and that's it. We got the voltage here across the resistor and the current going through the resistor. The, so this is the proper IV curve, okay? And now I'm asking you to duplicate what I have done and you get the same results by redoing the same values. Now let's go to the second part of this task. I will replace this resistor by a diode to get the IV care for the diode. So I deleted that one and just get a diode and attach that diode by some wires like that. Okay. And this is a, an ideal diode and I don't want ideal diode. I want specific one. So I can right click on that diode and pick new diode. You can choose from all this list. Okay, we have many different diodes. You have here the type fast recovery. You have uh, a lid, you have rectifier, you have shot key, you have uh, also switching and zener. Okay, so I want one of the rectifiers and just to make it easy, let's go for the first rectifier, which is this number. Okay this diode number and I will press OK. So I have selected one of them just to make it not ideal. OK, and now I will write, I will just run the same experiment and make run. Let's see the voltage here is the V out, which is yes, the voltage across this diode. So we have the voltage across the diode and I want the current to throw that diode. So I just will write a, a, a left click on on the current here and I got now the curve because now we got one volt every step so that's why there is some like piecewise uh, uh, drawing so if I just increase this one to be 0.1 okay or 05 just to make it more smoother okay yeah it's now smoother and we got the values is it the IV curve for a diode? I think you will agree it is, okay? So now about 0.7 volt, it will be jumping and passing all that current. It will take time according to how many points you have here. And see, it says run 155 point out of 2201. And I think it should finish now. Look at the IV curve here. It's very smooth now, smoother than before. And yeah, about 0.6 volt it will start passing this current and this is the IV curve for this diode I hope you get the same IV curve as well you might make a mistake if you make the IV curve uh, the voltage of this graph to be Vs if you selected this to be Vs you have you will get similar one but it's not the correct one okay uh, the values will be different a little bit so uh, to avoid this, just make sure that you selected the voltage across the diode and the current through the diode. So what is the task now? The task is to obtain the IV curves for rectifier, which is what we have done already, and the lid. And I just give you a sample number so you can choose the same number. Zener diode and also Schutke diode BAT 54 days. Okay, get all these and see if there are some differences between them or no and maybe you can really if you have any question you can discuss it with me later and after finishing this task you can follow up uh, for task three